not that I actually have some different conception of the concept here, but it might be nice to have a delegation of that responsibility to have somebody else who can kind of have their foot in the door and talk to people about what they're doing. Um, and that will be the condition that we put in place for the next meeting. This is our second delegation. We have two new ones uh, for next week. So I'll worry about those and making those actual things as I go, but for right now, I kind of just want to do, well, actually, no, that's not right. Um, okay, so what I'm going to need to do is, um, and what I want to tackle here, is I click on this, and I want to jump me down to this slot for this section. In order to do that, I need to get this section an ID. The difference between a section, or excuse me, between an ID and a class is that you can have multiple things that have one class in them. But an ID should be unique, just like an ID would be a license. You don't want multiple people to have your same social security number because that would compl complicate the whole system. Um, and so I need to look at an ID that is a big thing. So up here is the ID and the account portfolio ID. So this is creating something called a jump table. A jump table is an anchor that or is a link that doesn't actually take you to a different page. Rather, it jumps you down the page you need to be on. So when I click on this, it's going to jump down this page to the element that has an ID matching whatever comes off of this account. And it's going to say, you know, this is good stuff. And it's going to name it as this is good stuff. Uh, you can only have one ID in here. You can't do anything crazy with it. You have portfolio and bio so jump you to the portfolio first and then to the bio you can't do that only one ID uh, and it has to exactly match what it says that it is um, so I think we got the all of these right here bio Okay, cool. So those work. Uh, now I'm going to make them look a little bit prettier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change this font to Mac font. So I'm going to say that I think I'm going to make this one a little bit small. Okay, so I'm going to give this a width of 100%. And this is going to be the display flex. So the display flex is the thing that will show up when this button is pushed up. Uh, now I'm going to say that I need them to name the size of our all of our profiles. So they should be so they should each have some dots. No, they don't have any dots on them. I'm also going to say flex row one. So we're going to make them a span of our rows. Okay, that's pretty good. Bigger, uh, and I'm going to make the background a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to say 
Kami sekali lagi ingin mengakhiri episode ini dengan mengucapkan syukur atas segala whatever Anda ada di sini dan mohon maaf dan sampai jumpa di episode satu second question left and I'll put it kind of as a bit of a trick question a really obvious question to begin with the lesson I'm going to do from here is uh, well there are two things that are sort of pop to me one this is pushing this whole helix section down a little bit so it's no longer vertically aligned on the middle of the page and also I kind of like it when the navigation bar is sort of layered in all the way down so I think this is just sort of straight stuff from the top of the window you can do that by giving it So position fix fixes it to the top of the window, basically, while it stays there. Stuff will align it and lay it all the way down. And I think that's all I need to do for this section. I think I have this nice little map here. Um, one last thing. Actually, I think mostly this will sort of demonstrate how this thing works. Uh, I want some sort of visual feedback when I jump to a page. You can't really use CSS to do like some sort of smooth scrolling effect for each section we won't use JavaScript for that but I still want there to be something so that the page I actually need to section is there so what I'm going to do is when I get to each of those sections and then I'm going to actually add in an animation um, I'm going to do that in the section target so this target this means that when something has been jumped to and with a jump, I need to see what I'm doing here. So I have this in the background, I have another one in the background as well. Yeah, there's a pseudo selector that selects the thing that's just jumped to. So if I jump down to tech stuff, now that is in the background probably for me and because it is targeted. Uh, if I jump down to the content section, it becomes targeted. So that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do in this case is I'm just going to change the H1 of and I want it to just sort of flash or just have some sort of little visual feedback that I jump to it. So I'm going to write these things flash. So this is the name of the animation I'm going to do. I can call this one thing I want. I can drop that if I wanted it to. Um, and then just like with transitions, this is how long I want the animation to take. I'm going to start off with these two guys having a text shadow of 5 pixels and a and then going to having a text shadow of zero pixels driven by the line so now if I look closely you can see that this little row of things keeps jumping and that's going to happen every time I jump to a new section just to make it a little bit more pronounced, I'm going to have that text shadow come in both directions. So I'm also going to do a minus one up here for now. So now when you jump to a section, you get this sort of, I don't know what you would call that, but you get that sort of funky animation that you can't really control. Uh, there are ways you can make an animation for each. So if I want to do an infinite over here, then it's just going to keep doing that sort of blink and out. Like that. Um, I don't really like that very much. I just want to have some fun with it. So I'm not going to do that too much because that's just kind of silly. There we go. So now I have my own sweet little nav bar. I am almost done with the quick stuff here. Next, uh, one more thing. I'm going to do this wrapping up so I have really pointed information. So I'm going to have my nav bar. Click, click. Master. 